This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, March the 10th, 2019. It's the feast day of the 40 holy martyrs of Sebaste. They were Roman soldiers in the 12th legion, nicknamed Fulminata, armed with lightning, who were martyred by the prefect Licinius in AD 320 after they freely confessed to him their Christian faith. He ordered that they be stripped and exposed to the snow and ice for the night. And one of them jumped ship, leaving the 39 remaining to die alone. One of the guards, though, saw a heavenly light above the remaining 39, and he abandoned his posts and his clothes to die with them. While the story is very old, its credibility is very high. And this story, with remarkably few variants, spread across the Eastern and Western Christian world. The 40 holy martyrs of Sebaste died today in A.D. 320. Today is Harriet Tubman Day in the United States. Harriet Tubman was born into slavery as Armenta Menti Ross in January 1822 in Maryland. She suffered a horrible head wound as a child, and medical care for slaves being what it was, she was treated with rest. Throughout her life, she suffered debilitating headaches and seizures, but she also experienced intensive visions and dreams, which she believed were from the Lord. When she finally had the opportunity to escape her slavery at the risk of her own life, she took it. She traveled by way of the Underground Railroad. Over the following 15 or so years, she led about 13 expeditions from Maryland to southern Canada, rescuing about 100 slaves and solidifying the Underground Railroad's systems and structures, most notably through the use of Negro spirituals to send signals to those who were in the hidden bunkers. She was a brilliant and resilient woman who time and time again saved huge amounts of money to purchase her family members when she couldn't break them out from their bonds. She lived more than 90 years and remains an icon of what freedom really means. And there are two particularly infamous birthdays today as well. In 1928, James Earl Ray was born in Illinois. His parents were frequently on the run from the law, and he spent his youth in and out of jail. He fled the law to Mexico and then found himself working with the racially charged George Wallace campaign. He took a break from the campaign to get a nose job, no seriously, and then took bartending lessons before seeing Martin Luther King's face on a newspaper, which is when he apparently decided to gun him down. Ray clearly had some serious issues. Tragically, his plan succeeded and he killed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. as he stood on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis on April the 4th, 1968. The other infamous birthday today is Osama bin Laden. Born in Riyadh in 1957, he studied economics and business administration and read very widely. He was from a wealthy family with connections to the Saudi royals. He used these resources to create the Al-Qaeda terrorist network, which is most famous for the attacks on New York City, the Pentagon, and ostensibly the White House on September the 11th, 2001. The attacks were purportedly a response to the U.S. ties to Israel and damage bin Laden witnessed in Lebanon. After years on the run, bin Laden was found and killed by U.S. Special Forces in 2011. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.